Hey everybody, Model Man here with an update on the paint booth and we are fast getting to the point where it's just about done. I kinda skipped over showing my electronic wiring here because I don't want to give anyone false impressions that I know what I'm doing and show you something that is just blatantly bad. I know it's all secure, I actually shocked myself a couple times so uh, I've definitely been learning some lessons on that. I still have to wire all the lights together. There's two power cords here for those. One for uh, kind of ambient lighting and the other for work lights. That'll be done off this triple switch here. Cabinet fan turns on this guy. And it also turns on the air compressor. I had been hoping that I could control each of these outlets from independent switches, but it looks like the contacts are connected on them. As you can see here, right in the middle behind there. So I need to buy one of these and uh, take it apart just to see what I'm dealing with and then create my own uh, custom situation going on here. So one switch for both of them, whereas I had allocated two. So this is currently dead, it has no power. I was going to plug it into the wall because having two of these items going through one switch I didn't feel was necessarily a great thing so I figured open up this one and I can, even though it's one or the other turning it on or off, having both of them open would allow that much more electricity over that much more bandwidth essentially. However, what I found out is that once I plugged the power into that here this became a live connection because this was on and so I actually bet you that by turning this on here this may now be electrically active and touching those leads could cause a circuit, a short circuit which would go up my arm not interested in finding out yet again if there's anything live or not so since this is going to be tucked away down there, not doing anything, no problem for now. There's going to be a version 2 of the booth coming up, but that's months away or next year or whatever. So the lights, uh, utility box 1 for this one, dead switch here, and then the blower switch with a low setting. and a high 293 CFM and 428 CFM I've got it all wired up here basically what I've done is that the blower comes with these lines coming out of it and that's it so I took this uh, power cord from a uh, basically a computer power cord I chopped both ends off just to use the internal wires map those to where I need it to be over here for the switches and things well let's show you what's under here at least though it is a bit of a mess so reaching your finger up there and touching any of those leads will definitely be a live situation that you're not expecting or you should expect so don't want to go near any of that and hopefully it's well enough armored that uh, nothing will be reaching up here or any situation like that these two lines go over to this here, but I suppose I only need one set of those lines for both of these sockets. There they are. And as to the blower, since this is getting about to the point where I gotta install this, this is the video where I gotta talk about it. Actually at 4 minutes 30 so far, let's make it the next part. Thanks for watching. See ya.